This movie tells a story about Detective John Luther who breaks out of prison to hunt down a sadistic serial killer who is terrorizing London. This movie serves as a continuation of the BBC crime series Luther which ran for five seasons between 2010 and 2019. The TV series wrapped up with a perfect downbeat ending as Luther was arrested, presumed on his way to jail. Unfortunately, this movie never makes a compelling reason for restarting the story. It begins with a jumbled setup that mixes bits of the TV finale with a new story. How Luther gets out of jail is relatively easy, turning his imprisonment into little more than a minor obstacle. The movie doesn't even bother to ruminate on what exactly got him caught and how he might feel about it. All that careful and thoughtful closure of the series goes out the window soon after the movie begins, where the series ending has been remixed to involve a new character entirely. It basically tries to retcon the series ending in order to introduce a brand new serial killer arc nemesis named Robbie. Unfortunately, Robbie's involvement in putting Luther behind bars never comes up again beyond the opening scenes, so it's little more than a retcon for retcon's sake. This movie is overloaded with plot that meant to be thrilling, but the result is pedestrian and narrative whiplash as Luther ping-pongs between locations and scenarios with little room for the character-centric introspections that made this series work. The film moves between action sequences with reckless abandon, with little time for Luther to absorb Robbie's actions and methodologies, let alone be bothered enough by them to take radical action. Their moral dilemmas are never compelling. The audience is left in the dark about why anyone is doing pretty much anything. This feature film certainly has more polish than the show, while the scale is up with some action sequences, but it has no soul and does little to advance the character and lacks the dark creativity of the show. Characters often appear out of thin air, so underwritten and purely functional. It's always fascinating to watch Idris Elba on screen, but there's nothing new for him to dig into. Instead, it all feels rather recycled. He basically plays a broad strokes detective type with familiar attire but no internal life and no narrative purpose beyond chasing bad guys from place to place. Overall, this movie is really disappointing. We do not recommend this movie at all.